In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do mediation analysis in R for binary outcome. So uh, I'm going to use a package called mediation and I'm going to post the package paper in the video description. And I'm not the author of this package, so I cannot guarantee that the R code shown in this video correctly use that package. So this video tutorial is not peer reviewed and so the correctness and quality of this information are co present in this tutorial are not guaranteed. So if you are writing an academic paper, please do not cite this video. Okay, so the simple data here, x we assume is continue variable, and n is also continue, and y dd is binary. So the a power regression, we're going to use linear regression, yes. And the b power, we're going to use logistic regression, so the b part. And so if you use the mediation package, the default is that it assumes that the x is binary, so 0 and 1. And so that's the way it calculates the control condition and the treatment condition, the indirect effect. So but here the x is continuous, so we, we need to tell the function that okay, um, the treatment and the control condition, we are not really zero and one, but we need to define uh, a treatment value and the uh, control value. So here, I just use example as a, a minus one standard deviation of x and plus one standard deviation. So we treat, I trade the one plus as the treatment and one minus as the control. Of course, you can choose other values as well. Uh, to define, so you can define the treatment and control by yourself. And here I'm, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to use the minus one and plus one, uh, as just as example. So now let's shoot to the the R code. I'm going to show you how we can do that. So this is the R model I wrote. I'm going to post it post this file in the in the video description, so feel free to check it out if you want to do some practice. So I'm going to set, uh, simulate a data set. So x is continue, normal default, normal distribution, the mean is 1, standard deviation 1. And this is simulate the n, the mediator. Um, and I'm going to simulate the y, which is uh, uh, binary, 0 and 1, yes. So this is the, uh, this is the, the data set. And then in order to use the mediation package, we need to use A part, define A part and B pass. So you write out A part and B pass, and then you apply the mediation function. So I, I, the title here is wrong way. So uh, wrong way means that you, you do not define the control and treatment uh, b here, because the X here is continue variable and so if you do not define the control and the treatment, then this is the wrong way. So regardless, I saw it the wrong way. So you do not define the treatment and control. So but even this, so if you do not define the treatment and control, this mediation function will just assume that your control is zero, your treatment is one, which are not correct. But regardless, this is all output. So this is, and I write another example called correct way. So you need to define, tell them uh, which value is the control value, which one is the treatment value. So here I calculate the mean and I calculate the standard deviation and then calculate the X control. I define it as mean minus one standard deviation and the control is mean plus one standard deviation. So we define the value and then you put it into the mediation function. And you can see that the control and treatment now is different from the, the, the incorrect way of the write this function. And so, okay, so, so this is double check, this is optional, you do not really need to do that, but I just uh, show you that how you're going to calculate the control and the treatment effect, um, indirect effect, to see that whether we, we kind of correctly our understanding is correct. So here is that the basic idea is that I, I write out the A part and the B parts, and then I calculate the 
the control with a uh, treatment. Remember that you need to calculate the control, uh, the, the aim estimate. This regardless control or treatment condition, you always need to ca calculate aim uh, in the control and treatment. So you need always the aim, one standard deviation one, minus standard deviation one. You need always, regarding control or treatment, you always need to use this one. And then you replace x with the zero with the minus one, one with uh, one with the plus one. So this is the um, that you calculate the control and calculate the treatment. Yes, in the control, uh, that the the x is x is x control x control, and in the treatment condition, and the treatment is is very. All other things are the same, but you just replace X control with X treatment. And all other things um, are the same. And then you can see that the indirect effect of control is 0 0.16 and 0 0.158 is close. And our in indirect effect for the treatment is 0 0.05 and this is 0 0.0. Six, so we're close. The the inconsistency I assume is came from the randomness of the bootstrapping. Um, so I guess I, I think that's I think I believe that my, my method is correct, but I'm not sure. You have any questions? Uh, feel free to comment down below, and I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you for watching.